What's up guys, Sahil here from Android for Life and here is a review on Android 5.1 Lollipop on Xiaomi Mi4 and Xiaomi Mi3. Well, I never thought Android 5.1 Lollipop will be available on Mi4 and Mi3 before OnePlus One because the kernel sources of Mi4 and Mi3 are still not available yet. So this is an AOSP ROM and if you like to flash it on your device, I will leave a tutorial right below in the description box. So let's begin. So the first question which comes in our mind after flashing a custom ROM is that how good is the battery life. So I'm gonna jump into the battery settings and as you can see we have a screen on time of 4 hours and 16 minutes and I'm still left with 42% battery so that's really great. Well I'm impressed from this great battery backup and to be honest it seems to be much better than it is on stock Mi UI ROM. Now moving on to bugs, well there are only one or two bugs on this ROM and one of them is that when I flashed this ROM uh, my phone didn't detect the SIM card but it got fixed once I went into the recovery mood and wiped cache partition. One more thing I would like to mention that haptic feedback is too much on Mi3. Now you cannot uh, reduce it but you can disable it. Now you do get all the new features of Android 5.1 Lollipop. For example, you can straight away access Wi-Fi settings straight away from the notification toggle. Also you can access the notification panel from the lock screen, whereas it was not possible in Android 5.0.2 and it is really useful as you can enable torch from the lock screen. Now this ROM is using the slim launcher, so you do get some additional settings too. For example, you can add search bar on the home screen. Also we can even change the color of our folders which is really great. Also you can add some gestures by going into settings. And here you can see we have a bunch of gestures available. Also I have added one of them and as you can see I will swipe up on the home screen and we can easily activate the camera app. Now as far as the camera app is considered, it is really great. There are no bugs in camera app at all except for one and that is when you take pictures in horizontal mood with HDR on, the camera app crashes. Except for that, the back and front cam works perfectly fine. So yeah, that's basically it. The beauty of Android 5.1 Lollipop on Mi 4 and Mi 3. Well, if you're thinking to flash this ROM on your device, I would say go ahead. It is very stable, smooth and as you just saw. So thank you for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next one.